Hi, and welcome to Google Training. This video is going to talk about how to make contact lists. So, if we go over here and click on contacts, this is Google's contact manager, and what it allows you to do is to sort through all the people you know and put them into lists. So, if I wanted to send an email to my IST class, for instance, I wouldn't have to remember each one of their names. All I would have to type is the name of the group, 10IST. So, how do we make these lists? Firstly, we need a list of emails. So, you need to generate a list of emails of the people that you want to have in a group and make sure you have that handy. Okay, for me, I'm going to make up my own. Then you need to make a group. So, over down here, I'm going to click on new group and you need to call it something. So, I'm going to call it my friends. And then I need to actually click on the new group. So here's my friends here and I've just clicked on it. Okay, so at the moment I don't have any friends. Let's pretend I still don't have any friends and we'll add my friends over here. So I'm going to add um, Dave, my imaginary friend, my imaginary friend at gmail.com and of course I'm going to add my mum as well because mum's always your friends. So there they are. Okay. Now, once they're there, they're there. I don't need to worry about anything else. I can have the same selection options as I do in Gmail. So these buttons work the same. I can add more friends. I can put them in different groups. So I might say here, my mum, she might also be uh, start an Android because she's really important. Okay. I might put her in another group. I can do that as well from here. Okay, I can email people from this section as well. So if I want to email certain people in my group, I can just quickly select them there and do that. Okay, I can also do some other options. So I can delete the contact from the group, I can rename the group and so on. Um, I can import people from files, etc. And I can sort by first name and last name if I add those there as well. Okay, so what are these actually used for? So if I go back to Gmail, it won't work with the My Friends group because once you make a new group, it takes a little bit of time to add to autocomplete. But if I go to compose a new email, I can type in the name of my group and straight away it pops up here. So there's my 10IST group. If I click on that, it takes out the 10IST bit and adds all the people that are in my 10IST class. Thank you for watching Google Training.